Merry Christmas and welcome to this Christmas celebration of the West Hampton Baptist Church in Hampton, Virginia. Throughout this program, you'll hear songs that are sung and played, testimonies that are given, scriptures that are read, all aimed at the purpose of giving glory to God in the highest. Our hope and our prayer is that you'll be encouraged in your heart, strengthened in your walk, and drawn closer to Jesus than ever before. Because of him, may you have the merriest of Christmases. Hi, I'm David Flowers. This is my sister Nancy, who lives in Mississippi. And then between us is my younger sister Mary, who lives in Newport News. Uh, Daddy was the first pastor of the church, uh, which our grandfather had uh, started. So uh, when Craig asked me to to talk about the, uh, the early years of Christmas, I thought since I was in Mississippi, I'd get my sister to help. And then we thought to bring in my, my sister, Mary. So uh, uh, Nancy's gonna start. I just, remember. Yeah, I just remember those early years as being much simpler. Not as much stress and hustle and bustle. It was all about the season mm -hmm. and about the birth of Christ. And we had two big, huge trees, cedar trees in the sanctuary with only tinsel, no lights, just tinsel. And Daddy would always bring one home that Sunday night before Christmas, and that would be our Christmas tree. Of course, when we got it home, we certainly would decorate it with lights and, and ornaments. So, but I just remember it being a special sweet time. One of the memories I have is, as a teenager, we went caroling. Mm -hmm. And one of the ones I remember the most was we went caroling to uh, hey, Mabel Baker's house mm -hmm. and it started snowing. Now Mabel Baker's grandson is, plays the saxophone for us on Sunday mornings, Ron Coleman. Uh, so that would be a memory that uh, for him, uh, from us. And Mary Lee, what do you have, what do you remember? Well, I just remember that each Sunday in December uh, was special. And Daddy made it so that he had a program for each special night, special Sunday night mm -hmm. in December, and that it was the anticipation of Christ's birth, mm -hmm. and it all culminated there mm -hmm. uh, on Christmas Day. Like one Sunday night would be, of course, the adult choir, one Sunday night would be a pageant, one Sunday night would be the Lord's Supper, mm -hmm. and when he did the Lord's Supper, he always made it into an event, and mm -hmm. so you were excited because he had made everything into an event and that's mm -hmm. what he did for the whole month of December mm -hmm. that everyone was excited about Jesus birth because daddy had created a sense of anticipation mm -hmm. and excitement for uh, Christmas Day and he certainly did for us and for our family but also our extended family which was the church mm -hmm. and uh, those are the things I remember that our family was so entwined with the church, uh, literally, that what they had, we had, and, and everybody mm -hmm. came by and mm -hmm. to see us, and it was just an exciting time. Mm -hmm. But I credit Daddy and Mom for creating that excitement of Jesus' birth. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, you're welcome, those... David, and Nancy, <laughs> and Brenda. <laughs> those, those were our members. Old 
Yeah, even with the bowl and your trot in your sand, I bet he had the problems of an ordinary man. Jack was simple, yeah, and Jack was quick, but Jack couldn't make it over the candlestick of life. To him, people only had names. Seems he just couldn't give up playing his games. What is there that gives my life such what is there that makes it all worthwhile? It's found in just one man. You see, his name is Jesus Christ, my friend. Let him in and you will find life is more than nursery rhymes. So little boy blue, come and blow your horn and praise the Lord for your cows and Muffin would have never run away if she only asked the Lord for some courage that day. Be merry, quite contrary. How does your garden grow and grow and grow? Silly girl, don't you know it's from the Lord that you even had a garden growing there in your yard? And after Humpty Dumpty went and had his great fall, and no one around could fix him up at all. If he had had his heart with the Lord that day, he wouldn't have had to worry about it any old way, no way. You see, Mary had a little lamb. His love is white as snow. Larry and I are excited for the opportunity to share in the Christmas celebration with our church family at West Hampton. Jean Kunkel will be playing for us today and her husband Al is behind the camera. Thank you Jean and Al for helping us prepare this video. The Advent Carol points to the coming Savior, our Messiah, and the second two carols invite us to come and worship the newborn King. Glorious 
cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Merry Christmas! shepherds nearby living out in the field keeping guard over their flock at night an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were absolutely terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid listen carefully for I proclaim to you good news that brings great joy to all the people Today, your Savior is born in the city of David. He is Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a vast heavenly army appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among all men with whom he is pleased. Wise men and wise women still seek him.
jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run in one horse open sleigh. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run in one horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run in one horse open sleigh. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run in one horse open sleigh. Hey! Merry Christmas, everyone! Hey, I'm Robert. Now I'm Joy. I wanted to talk about our um, one of my favorite Christmas traditions. One of my favorites. Yeah, we both love it. The day after, the morning after Thanksgiving, it's been every year since our grandchildren have been born, so that's been a while. Nicholas is 13. Um, we go down to the tree lot, and we, the kids run around and pick out their tree. Um, they like to smell the trees, they hug the trees, they name the trees. We have to stop them from climbing them. True. <laughs> but um, it's just a fun, our first official act to kick off our, our Christmas season, and we just love it. So we're going to take you through some pictures through the years. We hope you enjoy it. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Peace. 
Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin will be with child and bear a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel. Away in a manger, no crib or a bread, the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild sleep in heavenly peace sleep in heavenly peace and an angel of the lord suddenly stood before them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were terribly frightened and the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which shall be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled, joyful all ye nations rise, joy While not your typical Christmas Bible verses, John chapter 1 verses 1 and 2 and verse 14 portray an important message that needs to be remembered during the Christmas season. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Hello, my name is Micah, and I would like to bring you Merry Christmas 99. On the night before Christmas, Cole asked from his bed, May I wait by the tree for my presents instead? No, Cole, his mom said, as she handed him bear. Then she kissed him goodnight and helped say his prayers. Cole's little sister appeared at the door. She'd been in her bed but was not anymore. I can't go to sleep, Rose, whispered the mom. May I come in here, please, with you and my brother? When Dad, when Dad wrapping presents, heard all of the chatter, he climbed up the stairs to see what was the matter. Dad entered and, hey, you should both be in bed while well, visions of sugar plums dance in your head. Sugar plums us gross, thinking thoughts about sweets. Yes, candy, Dad answered while pondering treats. I love them, Dad said. They're from an old rhyme. I'd be 
read it to you if we had some more time. But for now, what I'm hearing is way too much peeping. It's nearly midnight, and you both should be sleeping. With sweets to imagine and colors to share, they all snuggled up for Christmas Eve prayer. Thank you, dear God, for the gift of your son, and for sending your love to save everyone. Thank you for Christmas, the joy that it brings, the presents we get, and the songs that we sing. Please help us to see as we low down again, and we wait Christmas morning in your name. Amen. Dad softly whispered, Now go to sleep quick so we can get back to helping St. Nick. I switched on the night light, plugged into the wall before they both tiptoed back out to the hall. The concert of music then filled the air, played by a puppy, a sheep, and a bear. And as the soft strings and the instruments rang, the kids closed their eyes and the nighty night, night sang, Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar heavenly hosting alleluia christ the savior is born christ the savior is born silent night holy night son of god Love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face. With the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. By the time that the puppy, the bear, and the sheep had finished their singing, both kids were asleep. What? That did it, yawned puppy. I think... <coughs> Our drops through. Bear whispered to sheep and puppies out too. Bear smiled and said softly as he turned off the light, Merry Christmas to all and to all nighty night. Thank you for watching. Bye. West Hampton family and friends. We are coming to you tonight. This is the Alvis family and we're coming to you from Parkway Drive and we're going to entertain you tonight with a song. We are going to be singing the 12 Days of Christmas, accompanied by the Ray Conniff Singers. All right, Alexa, play the 12 Days of Christmas. Here's the 12 Days of Christmas by Ray Conniff and the Ray Conniff Singers on Amazon Music. <laughs> Christmas, my true love said to me, a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Dead little doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Three pear trees, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Four holy birds, three virgins, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love said to me,
When Carrie Ray and I were discussing what to do for this virtual service, we had um, thought about a song that the adult choir had performed several years ago. It's called Hope in His Heart. And it uh, deals with a, a gentleman who had um, suffered the loss of his spouse, 
um, and was experiencing Christmas for the very first time. And, you know, 2020 has been such a difficult year for so many people, um, and there have been so many who have suffered loss um, locally and throughout the country, and we just thought that um, this would be maybe a very appropriate song um, for this year. Uh, it was interesting, um, Pastor Brian Breland had even discussed and preached about hope, and um, no matter what you're going through uh, this year, we um, uh, want you to know that uh, your, your hope is in the Lord, and we hope that this uh, song will affirm that. He climbs the stairs to the One more time He's humming a tune about Christmas And seeing her face in his mind They used to share this together She's only been gone a year As he puts up the tree without her He's smiling Well, glory, hallelujah. What a great and glorious online Christmas celebration that we have, have all had the opportunity to participate in. Um, this has been a great opportunity for all of us as faith family members here at West Hampton Baptist Church to, to share a part of our Christmas celebrations with, with each and every other member of, of this faith family and those who are uh, watching online. 
I want to thank each and every one of you who has participated in this celebration. Uh, those who participated by way of sending in videos and uh, those who participated by putting this uh, this compilation of videos together for this online celebration. And for those who chose to, to participate by watching this online celebration, uh, this has been a great opportunity to, to explore a, a different way to share Christmas with each other. You know, this year as we, as we gather around our Christmas trees and, and as we open presents, and um, I, I want us to be reminded that uh, the reason we do so is in celebration of the giving of the Christ child. Um, that over 2,000 years ago, um, God the Father saw fit to send his son to this world uh, to be born uh, in a lowly manger, to live a life that led him to the cross, um, to pay the price for your sins and mine, so that we might experience the glory of heaven uh, if we would but surrender to Jesus Christ for our eternal destiny. Um, I'm hoping and praying that, that that knowledge, that that understanding informs our Christmas celebration this year, that we would remember that without Christ, there is no Christmas, that apart from the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, we do not have a reason to celebrate. And as we finish out this year, that we would be reminded that um, we are going through a glorious celebration, and I pray that we would take it through the end of the year and that we would begin the new year uh, in remembrance of all that God the Father has done for us in the person of Jesus Christ. The celebration of the Christ child ought to be one that brings us great joy, puts a smile on our face uh, so that all the world might see and maybe, just maybe, they would ask us, why is it that you can smile at a time such as this? And we could give them that one word answer. His name is Jesus. I want to finish and I want to close with um, a, a couple of verses from, uh, from Isaiah. Uh, I want to read these verses. These are a couple of verses I shared in, in a message a couple of weeks ago. But I, I believe that they are um, apropos for our, our celebration and a closing of our celebration to remind us of why it is that we celebrate at this time of the year. In Isaiah chapter 9, in verses 6 and 7, the prophet Isaiah writes, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and, on the, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice, and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. As we close out this year and we close out this uh, online Christmas celebration, let us be reminded that we celebrate the giving of the Christ child. May it be a light into our heart. May it be a light into our, our ongoing celebrations. And may it be a light to the dark world that we enter into on a daily basis. Let us be the reflection of the light of Christ to that world. And, and I want to finish with this. We want, here, from here at West Hampton Baptist Church, we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Church. Yes. Oh. So, I mean, now I get it. You're still black.